Frugalsim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal, and this is my Thrustmaster Warthog setup, but that's not what the video is about. The video is actually about this, which is a fox mount, fox with two X's. Before we get into exactly what that is, and how they came to be in my possession, let me get the disclaimers out of the way, because the internet is dark and full of terrors and full of conspiracy theories that everything is a paid ad. This is my Thrustmaster Warthog setup that I bought and paid for. In fact, it's my second set. I wore out the first one, they're that good, and I bought the first one as well. Similarly, the product I'm reviewing today, Fox Mounts here, $175 for a pair of two, and I bought them. The only disclaimer I'm gonna put out there is that Mr. Fox, when he realized who I was, said that if I make a video on them, regardless of whether my opinion is good or bad, he would give me a small discount. I took him at his word, I took the small discount, but regardless, I am a customer of these things. They were not provided for free. So, with that out of the way, let me get into exactly the coolness of these things. Prior to getting these Fox mounts, I actually very rarely used them because any of you that own a Thrustmaster Warthog set know that it weighs a ton. It's very, this, this stuff is very, very heavy. It's very big. It's awkward to set up on your desk, and it's just a bit of a pain. I would rather just bolt a, a yoke on with one bolt and go than try to put these on my desk and have them slide around. Plus, they're so darn big, they get stretched up like this, and I never found that particularly comfortable. At Christmas time, a friend of mine said, Pete, have you heard of fox mounts with two X's? I said, no, I hadn't, so he sent me a link. I took a look, and that's when I placed the order. What a fox mount is, oh, there's the heaviness. I'm going to put my arm on this to stop it falling over, is this. A fox mount is a metal clamp. I think it's aluminum or aluminium, depending on where you're from. I don't think it's stainless steel, that clamps to your desk. And when I say clamp, I mean that in the most forceful sense of the word. Look, there is a proper full-on clamp here that can exert enough pressure to crush a finger bone. Be careful if you order these. So it clamps on your desk. Now, you can adjust pretty much everything. Those of you who've got a Warthog stick know that it comes on a large metal plate. You obviously have to take the plate off and then the Fox mounts, turn this upside down, come with their own plates. So the joystick plate is this round one. You screw the joystick onto that round plate and then you attach the round plate onto, my goodness, the Fox mount itself. Can I balance that there without it falling over? Let me do this. Yay, industrial equipment, okay. Now, once it's attached the way it currently is, and it comes as a bit of a kit, you end up with this large bit here, this bit here, and the plate, and you have to put everything together yourself. It doesn't take more than 10 minutes. It's very, very easy to do. And I've got a handy list of numbers next to me, which I'm gonna to recite to you right now. Once you have it attached, you have 11 inches of vertical adjustment all the way from the bottom to the top, and three inches of adjustment from the back to the front. Now obviously, with the joystick in particular, the further down this main shaft you go, the less forward movement you will have on the stick, obviously, if you go a little bit forward of the, the full backness, because the front of the stick's gonna bash into this arm. But I haven't found that to be a limiting factor. In fact, what I did is I measured a height for the joystick in particular that is slightly above the armrest on my chair and slightly above the uh, main cushion that you sit on, on my chair. And the reason I did that is that lets me use this clamped to my desk, either on the side like this, so it's to the side of me in my right hand, or between my legs, which is very, very good for getting a lot more control out of helicopters and fast jets and things like that. The other clamp, let me put this back, is exactly the same. The only difference is the mounting plate for a throttle, as you can currently see. It, my God, it's so heavy. <laughs> Now I'm complaining about the weight because as I said, these are solid metal, they are heavy too. So the combined weight of the heavy clamp plus a heavy piece of joystick equipment makes for an incredibly heavy thing in general. But anyway, there is the big plate that the throttle quadrant sits on. And unlike with the joystick where you have forward and backward adjustment, I don't think, oh, I do have a little bit of forward and back adjustment on the throttle, but not a whole lot. Yeah, about that much. So not a lot of forward and backwards adjustment on the throttle bit, but a lot on the joystick bit. Ah, my God. Now, the way they attach to your desk, I already kind of showed you this, but I'll show you again. There's a rubberized pad here. And then what you can do is you can unscrew this uh, nut. I can't, because I've done it up too tight. But it, trust me, you unscrew this nut, and then you can unscrew or screw this arm here. And the idea is that you want 
in the up position of the clamp bit to have the right uh, distance, I guess, between this and this, so it's tightly and firmly holding onto your desk. Here's a bit of a worry I had when I ordered this. I have a thin, less than a quarter inch glass desk. And as I said, I wasn't joking. This clamp system here is so strong, it will easily, without any effort, crush a bone in your finger. So my, I had a bit of concern there, doing that on a glass desk, that it would start to apply pressure about there, and then locking it in place, the glass desk would just shatter. So what I did was I got a couple of small blocks of wood, and then this clamps underneath onto that block of wood. I haven't had any problems at all with my desk. No problems with it shattering, cracking, or in any way scratching or anything like that. The, the soft pad here is very, very good at preventing scratches and having a block of wood between this and the underside of the desk also prevents scratches. Now I will say, since I got these, and I got these, it took a while for them to come. Mr. Fox makes these by hand himself in his garage. And I think at the time I'm recording this, he has mentioned to me, I might want to hold off posting the video because he's trying to I don't know what the word is. Um, scale up, I guess, his manufacturing abilities so that if he gets some orders, then he'll be able to meet those orders. But for me, when I ordered, it took about four or five weeks for them to come. Uh, I was very impatient, I always am, when I order new things, but I, I don't regret placing the order at all because they're phenomenal. And what I found is that once I got these and I attached them to my desk, I actually, since, gosh, January, I haven't used any other controller, and I've got other controllers I need to review and other controllers I need to look at, you know, like I, I did the Redbird stuff, obviously, I've got the new Yoko, the Yoko Plus that I need to review as well. I haven't wanted to do these things because I just love having these on my desk and don't really want to change to anything else. So I've been using my Warthog exclusively for the past, what, four months or so, just because they're now attached to these clamps. They are that good. Now, it's not just the Warthog that these things support. Again, I'll go back to my handy list of numbers and figures. Mr. Fox makes bases which attach to the main clampy bit for the Thrustmaster Warthog stick and throttle, the Thrustmaster Cougar stick and throttle, the Thrustmaster T16000M, the Thrustmaster TWS, it's not all Thrustmaster though, the Logitech or Cytec X52, X55 and X56, the VKB Gunfighter, the VKB Gladiator, the Verpal Warbird, the Verpal T50, and CH sticks and throttles. So he supports a ton of different hardware. Basically, if you have a HOTAS, the chances are good that Mr. Fox can come up with a mounting bracket for you to mount onto his phenomenal clamp. So what are these like in use? Well, I can put some video in here that you can look at, but overall, the golden thing is they are phenomenal. They are so sturdy that my joysticks and my throttle never, ever move now. They're always exactly where I want them to be, which is lower than the desk, because that's just much more comfortable, particularly on a heavy and large set of controls like this. Um, and I can position the joystick in particular exactly where I want it to be. So if I'm flying a, an airliner, like an Airbus, I can have it to the side. If I'm flying an F-16 or an F-18 or something like that, I can put it squarely between my legs and get a lot more control. Incidentally, if you are into the helicopters, Mr. Fox does also sell extensions, which would be a long three or six or whatever inch uh, pole, which attaches to the base and lifts the joystick up, giving you even more fine control if you're into the helicopter side of things. Now, as I said, attaching to your desk is very easy. You just need to adjust the height of that screw bit at the front. Um, and as I said, with my glass desk, I have a piece of wood here to stop it shattering the desk. Once you have it all adjusted and ready to go, it's perfect. You never need to adjust them again. Now, here's the other cool thing for me, at least. My desk is extremely wide and I work at my desk. The great thing about these is when I'm done working or live streaming or something like that, all I need to do is just flip that clamp down slide it over to the edge of my desk and then clamp it back up again and they're out of the way but still attached to my desk. That's one of the other big gripes I have, first world problems, right, of having all these big controls and yokes and things like that on my desk is that when you're done flying, you kind of need to unpack everything or repack everything and take it off your desk and put it all away. I found with these things, I actually don't need to do that anymore, which is why I haven't been so keen to put anything else on my desk. I can just slide these out of the way, pull my keyboard, my mouse forward, go play Diablo, edit a video, whatever I want to do, without these getting in the way. So it's extremely quick and easy for me to get ready to fly now using these fabulous mounts. If you have your own logo, for example, your own brand or your own slogan that you want on top of these mounts, you can see there's a Fox mount logo on the top, 
then Mr. Fox will laser etch that for you as well. I have seen Jabbers put up a video where he has his, his Jabbers logo on the top. So that's about it. That's about all I've got. All I can say in summary is these things have revolutionized how I use my controllers in that I haven't wanted to use anything other than my Thrustmaster Warhog since I got these mounts. They're that good. Um, I have no problem now just sliding these out of the way when I'm not using them, sliding them back in when I am using them. They're great. They're very sturdy. They've not broken my desk. Uh, $175 is what the pair will normally cost you. I don't think that's a lot of money for what you get, which is handcrafted, awesome workmanship that is going to last years and years and years and years. Very, very sturdy, very cool. I cannot recommend these highly enough. If you have a HOTAS and you're currently sliding it around your desk, or worse, doing what I used to do with the uh, joystick here is using that large metal plate to actually sit on. If you're doing all that nonsense, really go and look at the guy's website and consider buying these because they are that good. Leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have an alternative or better way of setting up these things on your desk. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon.